okay so for the project submission what you have to do is it's extremely simple uh there are two type of people who will be coming to the bootcamp one who have laptops to work upon and the second one who don't have the laptops to work upon for those who are currently working on a mobile i will request you guys to arrange a laptop or a desktop you can go to a nearby cyber uh, cafe as well or just ask some of your friends if they have a laptop that you can borrow for a few uh, minutes or so and you can then complete the project and then proceed with the submission of the project itself so okay so first of all what you have to do is once you have completed the entire programming and everything you have to play the video as i uh, play the sorry run the program as you are able to see whatever results that you are having you have to show your results right over here uh, right now we can disable we have disabled the trackbar so we are getting the results directly from our lower green and the upper green values okay so once you have tested that uh, your program is working correctly there is no problems with your program itself the next thing that you have to do is you want to download some software that helps you in rec uh, recording your screen so as far as the screen recording goes what you can do is you can just look for some screen recording options that you are having you are having some like screenrec.com and all these kind of stuff so just search for screen recordings and, uh, available for your pc whether it be mac or something like that uh, download it for your own laptop itself so right now i'm using obs but it's not compulsory to use obs itself you can use any of the screen recorders that you can uh, find okay it's totally up to you once you have done that you want to go back to your project okay you want to go back to your project you have to start the screen recording go through the code once okay just show the entire code once in the screen recording then run the code right now once you have run the code just look at the output it will record the output itself once you have done that you want to stop the code as well as I mean stop the program as well as the uh, video recording the recorded video that you have obtained so let's say that you have obtained the recorded video of your screen itself of the project what you want to do is you want to create your LinkedIn account. Okay, so as a developer, you need to have a GitHub account and a LinkedIn account. So for the purpose of uh, this particular project, we have chosen the LinkedIn account itself. Uh, once you have opened up a LinkedIn account, create your profile thoroughly. For example, I will show you my profile as well. So this is my profile, view full profile as you are able to see from right over here. So I've put up my details right over here. What are the different things that I'm having right over here? What is my experience, education, certifications, skills that I'm having right now? So all these different things you want to put it right over here, create your profile. Once you have done that, you want to go back to home. You want to start a post. Okay. So once you have looked at this particular portion, start a post, you click on video. Okay. You want to, uh, so this is the video that I've shot right now. So I'll just select that particular video open it up okay once i've got that video i want to uh, like click on done okay once i've clicked on done i want to write what i have learned in this boot camp okay so whatever topics that you have learned in this boot camp whatever your thoughts about this boot camp you can put it down right over here okay it's very important to put down what you have learned okay because we also need to understand that okay were you in the class or not what are the different things that we studied in the class itself once you have done that, uh, just tag us. Okay, so just click on at rate and then search for dev town. Okay, just click on dev town right over here. So that will tag us and then put up a hashtag of DEVTOWN. Okay, so you'll be able to find that hashtag as well. So whatever you have learned uh, in the bootcamp, you are putting it up right over here. Once you have done that, okay, uh, let me just put it up right over here. This is an example. Post for project Okay, so I've just created a sample post for project submission You need to put up uh, whatever other details that you have learned in the, uh, in the five days of the bootcamp itself Once you have done that you want to click on let's add another hashtag right over here If you want you can add any other hashtags as well Okay, then you want to click on post. Okay, so once uh, as you are able to see it's showing uploading less than a uh, one minute left as you are able to see down below right over here. 
we want to wait uh, for once the post has been uploaded okay so upload completed will notify you once the video is ready so it's processing the video that we have currently uploaded so it will take uh, two minutes more okay uh once it is completed we just have to get the link for the post itself so we are just waiting for that particular thing okay so now the uh, video has been uploaded next what you want to do is you want to click on these three buttons okay copy link to the post okay click on these three buttons copy link to the post if in the case that you are not able to find this particular video it was not showing right over here go to your profile view profile then in the description of the uh, like go to activities okay so you will be able to see all activities right over here show all activities inside of that you want to see all activities so you will be able to see your latest post as well again click on the three buttons copy link to this post okay then uh, the project submission link is down in the description of the video and will be shared to you on your whatsapp groups as well you just want to open that particular so it will not be shared on your whatsapp groups i'm not very familiar with it but it will be there in the description of the video itself inside of that just you need to go right over here and instead of linkedin uh, linkedin post link okay you want to paste the link so for example let me just take up this particular let's click on and copy go back let's open the form itself right over here so while filling it up i will just have to put up my uh, link to the linkedin form so let's uh, copy link to the post right from right over here and paste it right over here as well so as you are able to see this is the entire link that i'm having right over here i need to fill up the rest of the form as well and then submit it now um, you have to be very careful while submitting this form Okay, use the same at uh, uh, your email that you have used in your attendance forms as well also make sure that the link that you're putting up right over here the project link that is the linkedin post link is absolutely correct because the certificate via google will only be given to those students who will be putting this particular link correctly their own link don't copy it from someone else don't submit something else okay you have to make sure that this link is the linkedin post that you have made because except that we will not be able to give you guys these certificates okay so please make sure uh, that would be the entire process for project submission as well if you guys have any questions put it down in the comment section of this video and someone from devtown will be able to reach out to you in the comment section itself and help you guys out okay so thank you so much i hope that we'll be able to see you in the training program as well or in the future boot camp okay depending upon where we are meeting the next time we'll have a great blast okay thank you so much thank you guys